Well, that's right. Humane officer, officers here in Illyria want to ban dog chains. And after you see our video, you might agree. What you can kind of see here is he's missing a lot of his teeth or his teeth are all chewed up. That can be from chewing on a chain or chewing uh, to escape. So. The Friendship APL wants Illyria City Council to pass an ordinance making chaining up a dog a crime. It's just not a healthy, safe, or humane environment for these dogs to be kept in. Sometimes we've seen where the dogs are actually wrapped up in the chains themselves, unable to move, as gets wrapped around their back legs. Friendship director Greg Willie told me when a dog breaks away from their chain, some owners take it a step further. What we see is that when they get them back, they go to another grade of chain, oftentimes up to things like toe chains, which are 40 pounds of chain wrapped around a dog's neck. The chain has actually grown inside the dog's neck. Skin begins to grow over it, but because of the fur, you can't really see that. It only took us 10 minutes of driving around to find two dogs tied up with heavy duty chains. There are three main components to this proposed ordinance. No chains or ropes can be used to tie the dog up. A dog can't be tethered for more than 10 hours a day. And no tethering between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. If you have your dog out on, on, a, on a tether while you're having a backyard barbecue, that's no, no problem. It's this 24 hour a day, seven day a week, regardless of the elements, regardless of the conditions outside that these dogs are being tied up outside uh, with little to no human contact or socialization. As far as enforcement, Willie banks on concerned neighbors calling police or humane officers. Now, a first-time citation, a first-time offense would cost someone $150. The city of Lorraine also considering a very similar ordinance. Now, that meeting underway, my colleague Homa Bash is in there covering it. She'll have that side of the story tonight at 11. In Illyria, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.